We, we always like to do in our first segment some UAP updates and, and news. And uh, one of the ones I just wanted to touch on because it's just such an in incredible developing story is the uh, the man who was going to take over as the inspector. He's been nominated by Biden to be the inspector general for the Defense Department. This is a man named Robert Storch. He was testifying at his his hearing. I just have to read this for people. First, she asked him, you know, is it your position that as you know, that you would be looking into this as we've directed? And he professed twice that he really didn't know much about UAP. And yeah, he would he would get around to it after he was confirmed. All right. He, she basically asked twice. He basically said, I'll get around to it after I'm confirmed twice. And she said, well, and this is a quote, since you aren't familiar can you please familiarize yourself with this issue and respond to these questions in writing before your confirmation, please? I just do I thought, your homework. Oh my Lord. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, the man had a two word answer. It was kind of shocked. And then he said, uh, yes, ma'am. Now, via WebEx, let me recognize in a Gillibrand, please. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman, and welcome to all our nominees. Um, uh, first for Mr. Storch. Um, Mr. Storch, in your current position as NSA Inspector General, are you familiar with the DOD's IG's ongoing assessment of the response from DOD components to the intrusions of unidentified aerial phenomenon into controlled DOD airspace, as well as UAP activity around naval and air operations? Further, do you think the NSA has been responsive to the DOD's IG inquiries? Uh, thank you for the se uh, question, Senator. I'm afraid that's not an issue with which I am currently familiar. However, if confirmed, I certainly am uh, willing to look into that and to um, take any action that's appropriate. Well, thank you. Um, and if confirmed, can I have your commitment to sustain this comprehensive assessment until it reaches its appropriate conclusion, including the possibility of follow on actions such as audits or investigations if the assessment recommends as much? Well, well, again, I honestly am not familiar with that particular review, but as, as is typical, I think, across the IG community, when a new IG comes in, if they're pending matters, those would continue in, in the office and it would be perfectly appropriate to examine them. Um, and if I am confirmed, I can assure you that anything that's pending when I'm in the office, I'll, I'll give my best uh, attention to. And if there's appropriate follow up to be done, we'll do it. Okay, so since you are familiar, can you please familiarize yourself with this issue? and respond to both of those questions in writing before your confirmation, please. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I thought, <laughs> what a great moment in history. That is a top moment yep. in UAP history for me. Well, I mean, I just think it's, I, but frankly, I'll, I'll say it. I think it's appalling that somebody was coming in for a confirmation hearing to be involved in such a crucial oversight role. And they had no bloody idea that the biggest story of all time has been unfolding inside the portfolio that they're administering. So frankly, I think a lot of bureaucrats are going to have to pull their heads in and start applying their noses to the wheel and actually understand this issue. Mm -hmm.